This is Raging Rob. Gotta make this video. This goes about Google Glass. Google Glass is the next uh, step of douchebaggery. If you want to look like a douchebag going down the road, walking down the street, I meant, then get a prescription glass that costs about $1,200 to anywhere from $12 to $2,000 called Google Glass. Now, I'm not Google Glass. Google, the company that likes to spy on you. The company that the government likes to use to spy on you. NSA, they like to spy on you through Google and Facebook and Twitter. Google Glass is the next advanced technology of douchebaggery. The older technology of douchebaggery was the fucking Bluetooth that you put in your fucking ear. I never bought a Bluetooth. A. I'm not a dumbass douchebag. I don't want to look like one. If you have a mullet, cut that motherfucker. Where's the mullet? Yeah, like here. Cut that motherfucker. Because you st tell, go to the damn hairstylist or barber and tell him you want to stop looking like a fucking asshole. Okay? That's the same thing with the Bluetooth. Sticking that goddamn thing in your fucking ear. Walk around with the fucking glow stick in your fucking ear. Look at me. Yo, you're a fucking douchebag. That's the same thing with Google Glass. Not only that, but people who wear Google Glass, they can videotape with the tap of a button on the glasses and record. There's also face recognition. The government is using Google Glass, looking at rallies, protests, crowds, to recognize people's faces and within two seconds they can pull up a Facebook page or pull up information on you by using Google Glass. Google. Look it up. Look up the, the digits in Google. The, the letters in Google. It equals 666. Did you know that? And look up the Google sign. The Google symbol. If you twist it around, it looks like a Nazi sign. It looks like a gay Nazi sign. Not to bash gays. Google Glass, the next step of douchebaggery. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the research right now. Are you uh, brainwashed Nimrods aware that Google just bought out a drone company that makes drones? You know why? They say it's to advance their maps so they can zoom in more accurately. Or more accurate maps. So they just they just bought out a drone company that makes drones for I think twenty million dollars. My information could be a little off. Facebook is trying to get on this too. The spy pro well they already we already know that Facebook is run by the CIA. We already know that Mark Zuckerberg is a CIA agent, a CIA op. We already know that. But I'm saying Facebook is trying to get on the map shit. You know, like Google is, you know, buying drone companies. So, Google Glass, and I also got to give a big fuck you to Fox 2 Detroit for promoting this Mark of the Beast garbage. Um, I'm doing my research. Google Glass of new apps. They offer a campaign in Android app called my glass which allows the user to configure and manage the device yes you have to manage your spy your spy device your spy cam your secret little James Bond spy cam that you have in your fucking eyes sort of like Arnold Schwarzenegger that uh, communist Nazi son of a bitch Arnold Schwarzenegger in the movie true lies when he was uh, had a glass that he was spying on his 15 year old daughter behind him who was stealing money out of his purse or out of his suitcase or something I don't know maybe it was out of his wife's purse I don't know Jamie Lee Curtis but anyway Alicia Dusku was uh, stealing money out of somebody's purse or whatever and Arnold Schwarzenegger caught it on camera with his Google glass in the movie True Lies look at the movie well, it looks like a lot of stuff that Arnold Schwarzenegger, a lot of movies that he that he's doing, it's coming true. The stuff in True Lies with the Google Glass douchebaggery, um, the Terminator machines. Now they're trying to make robots that can, you know, 
like humans, sort of like the T3 or the robotic uh, Terminator. Yeah, I don't know. This is raging, Rob. Concerns have been raised by various sources regarding the inst institution of privacy of using this device in public and recording people without the permission. There was recently a, a case where, I don't know where it was, somewhere at a protest or something, somebody had this device on and people ripped it off of them and stomped on the ground, smashed it. There was another lady somewhere in San Francisco walked into a bar with this device and they told her, GET OUT! They don't want her inside the bar spying on people. Privacy activists are concerned that people wearing such eyewear may be able to identify strangers in public using facial recognition. Yeah, they have facial, rec facial recognition on this fucking spy device that the NSA loves. And at Fox 2 Communist Detroit re uh, news station in uh, the shithole garbage bag city of Detroit is promoting this fucking Mark of the Beast software. Google Glass on July and July 31st, 2013, it was reported that driving while wearing Google Glass is likely to be banned in the UK. So now we have driving, you can't text message while driving in a lot of jurisdictions. It's a federal law, it's a federal crime to text message while driving a commercial motor vehicle. They're banning this device. while driving in the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom, which stands for the ultimate kikes of communism, which they got a fucking, in the UK, they got a fucking camera on every fucking corner anyway for facial recognition, so it really doesn't matter. In the U.S. state of West Virginia, State Representative Gary G. Howe introduced an amendment in March 2013 to the state's new law against texting while driving that would include bans against wearing a wearable computer with head-mounted display, also known as Google Glass, the next step of American douchebaggery. In October 2013, a driver in the, in the communist state of Crapafornia was ticketed for driving with monitor visible to driver Google Glass. After being pulled over for speeding by a San Diego Police Department officer, the driver was reportedly the first to be ticketed for wearing Google douchebaggery glass. When the judge noted that Google douchebaggery communist glass fell under the purview and antenna of the ban on driving with a monitor, the case was thrown out of court due to lack of evidence or lack of proof that the device was on at the time. Here we go with healthcare. Several proofs of const... Blah, I can't even speak right. Google Glass has been promo proposed in healthcare. A Venezuelan surgeon practicing in the USA was the first surgeon to ever demonstrate the use of Google Glass during a live surgical procedure. They have face recognition on this Google Glass. Now why would they want the citizens to have Google Glass with face recognition? Why would they want that? Why would they want me to wear a Google Glass where I can recognize him, 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 but by the blah, 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 just by the touch of a motherfucking button? And I can pull up somebody's Facebook page in two seconds. Probably a second and a half. Oh, I'm just doing research, blah, blah, blah. Google Glass, the next step of douchebaggery. So welcome Google Glass. Welcome the Mark of the Beast. This is Raging Rob, this is what I do. I expose the douchebaggeries. How about that? Oh, fuck. Where's my GMO drink at? There it is. Here we go. Gotta get my dose of GMO in me tonight. 
one in eight wins free music. No, they not, no, 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 this is another scam. They want to poison you, and they're gonna do whatever they can to poison you. So they say, hey, you buy some GMO drink, we poison you, you might win some music. <laughs> Just, to, is, this, is this Dr. Pepper drink really safe for me? Go to InfoWarsLife.com and order some of the the herb stuff that Alex Jones has got on sale. Clean out your system. Keep your body pure and cleanse. Clean out that crap in your body. Like the shit that's in the air from the chemtrails. You know the real reason that uh, Clive Bundy's... Uh, I was doing some research, and the real reason that Clive Bundy's uh, cattle was stolen and property seized. More like property stolen, cattle seized, whatever, whichever. Doing some research. There's a corporation in China trying to promote solar energy. The government is trying to build solar energy in six western states, including California, Nevada, Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah. So they push all the ranchers out of that area. They're trying to make up stupid laws to get Clyde Bundy pushed out of there. That's their ultimate goal, to get him out of there. Because they want to promote solar energy in Nevada. You don't believe me? Look up Solar Energy Communist China, a Chinese corporation that's pushing, that's, used, that's working with the U.S. government to promote solar energy in the area, in Nevada, Cook County. You must stand up against tyranny. The government's backing down now. Resist the new world order. This is Raging Rob. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'm on my way back to Phoenix. Right now I'm currently in Ogden, Utah. Oh. Just another day in the crazy real world of Raging Rob. There's allegedly going to be a red moon tonight. Or blood moon tonight. I'll look out for it, but there's a lot of cloud cover here in Ogden, Utah, so I probably won't see anything. Alright, subscribe to my channel. More videos to come. You want useful information? Come to my channel. But don't just rely on me because I could be a bit of a dumbass and not real educated on some things. I'm not the best speaker. I, I gotta admit, I do have a little bit of a speech impediment. I am not gonna lie. Don't just rely on Mark Dice, Alex Jones, and Raging Rob Kinnison. Do your own research for yourself. I advise all my followers to do their own research for themselves. Be a leader, not a follower. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I'll put links below.